President Obama made his first remarks on the Al-Qaeda terror threat during an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Citywide construction projects may look like the picture of prosperity, but experts say that too many of these workers are coming from outside the district, and that means less job opportunities for local residents. If the U.S. Senate confirms B. Todd Jones, it would be the first time in seven years that ATF would have a confirmed director. Because of sequestration, the National Park Service has to cut 10% of its budget, and they say that means everything from monuments here to parks across the country will suffer. If Congress doesn't act soon, interest rates on loans for college students could increase anywhere from 3.4% to nearly 7% for incoming students. Lawrence noted that while the design might fade a little over time, the colors hold up after repeated washing. But when applied to the skin, the effect is temporary. Oh, I'm the avatar, <laughs> I do feel like I have an avatar. Am I an honor to remember yeah. my Asian process? Everybody that Not only did Oktoberfest help out Cleaner's Food Bank, but they also brought people to Lake Orion and exposed Canterbury Village as the gem it truly is. Reporting from the Ferris Wheel, I'm Kayla Brandon for ONTV News. Two elements are joining together tonight at the Fire and Ice Festival in Rochester. The fire, as you can see behind me, the beautiful fireworks in the sky, and the ice is the beautiful Michigan weather. Recent studies show that one in four women in America will be victims of sexual assault by the time that they're 18. Now the people behind me, as you can see, are going to be armed with the knowledge that the Oakland County Sheriff's Department has brought to them so that they don't become yet another statistic. Ladies, defensive stance. No! Stay away! Something. Somebody has to know that this isn't right. Number one thing is to realize that the only person who's going to be there when that happens is you. And you have to deem it to be important. And whatever you do to survive is right. Following a rash of reports of attempted abductions at area malls, nearly 30 women of all ages gathered at the Palace of Auburn Hills to learn about situational awareness, talk about real-life assault scenarios with law enforcement officials, and learn self-defense tactics. Sheriff Michael Bouchard told me that real strength has little to do with your physical capabilities. Heightened awareness, a pre-plan, if you will, mm -hmm. and this is the most important weapon. Use your head. Sergeant Jennifer Miles showed the group basic moves like blocking a hit and highlighted the main parts of the body where men are most vulnerable. Either the face, the throat, the groin, the top of the foot, somewhere when you hit him, He's going to know you hit him. The story of Michael and Gina Spain is one of loss, despair, hope, and renewal. But most of all, love. I got the chance to sit down with the Rochester couple and hear their incredible story. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at Michael and Gina Spain, you wouldn't have guessed they found love in the midst of undoubtedly the darkest hour of their lives. It was Christmas Day in 2005 when Gina's husband, Matt, lost his three-year battle with a rare form of cancer. Just two months later, Matt's childhood friend, Kathy, would suddenly pass away from brain cancer. Through comforting phone calls, family outings, and a shared sense of faith, God turned their mourning into dancing. Michael and Gina found love in the shadows of despair and married almost two years later. We realized that before the two of us ever met, our lives had intersected more often than we could imagine. The memoir of their lives, originally meant for their children, soon got picked up by a publisher. And it wasn't long before it became a New York Times bestseller. The couple created the New Day Foundation in 2007 to help families affected by cancer, with children under the age of 18, through financial and emotional support. We, we saw an incredible need, and, you know, yeah. Michael and I had been incredibly blessed during that time when we had our, you know, dealing with our losses and our spouses being ill and we had such an incredible support system. We wanted to provide that for people who didn't have it. More than 150 families have benefited from the generous efforts of Michael, Gina, and their team. The Spain family proves that the loss of a loved one can be devastating, but if you keep your heart open, you could find love in the midst of tragedy. That's it for this edition of ONTV News. On behalf of the entire crew, I'm Kayla Brandon. Thanks for watching.